I'm Justin Erickson. I'm the CEO and fourth generation owner of the Harbor Foods Group. Harbor Foods Group owns two companies, Harbor Wholesale and Harbor Food Service. We started out in 1923 in Aberdeen, Washington, uh, delivering butter, eggs, and cheese to restaurants and small grocery stores around Grays Harbor County and have grown our family business for almost 100 years into distribution services for restaurants, convenience stores, and grocery stores throughout the Northwest. I've been CEO since 2007, and during that time we've uh, completed a number of acquisitions and expanded into new territories and built a, a very large team of people that up until last year were primarily focused on servicing convenience stores and small grocery stores throughout the Northwest. We brought on a couple of large restaurant chains uh, in 2015 and 2016. Uh, we handle all the distribution for Subway restaurants throughout Western Washington. We handle distribution for Taco Time restaurants throughout Washington State. And most recently, we acquired uh, the Kent Washington-based branch of Food Services of America and brought on another 250 team members and now service uh, over 5,000 customers between both of our companies. Just when I was a kid, we had about 25 employees. We moved the business from Aberdeen to Olympia in 1985. And you know that's the type of business I grew up around. Today we have over 700 team members working for our company. And why does that matter? Uh, and why have we been successful? It's, there's a lot to it, but it's fairly simple. We've always been focused on taking care of the people that work in this company, uh, treating our team like family being committed to their success here in their work life as well as in their personal life. We all spend a lot of time at work every day. Uh, well, not all of us, but <laughs> you know, uh, we spend eight to 12 hours a day, half our lives in work, you know, working on uh, our careers. And we want that to be a positive experience for everybody that touches our company. We wanna be part of their rewarding lives and we want them to know that the work that they do here when they're at Harbor matters. It matters for our customers who are entrepreneurial small businesses that rely on us for their success and it matters to our community and that's a big part of what is important to us and, and why we're here. We want to create a positive impact on people's lives and we want to support our community uh, everywhere we do business. We're a behind-the-scenes company and there's not many people in the community probably know, understand, or honestly care a lot about what Harbor Foods does day in and day out, but I think we're a, a critical part of everybody's lives every day in bringing food to all of the restaurants that we might eat at and the, the stores where some of us shop. We are local and family owned and independent and our competitors are large publicly traded organizations uh, that, that are less involved in the community and less focused on local. And uh, in today's world, there's still a place for personal touch, human interaction, focus on community. And I don't think that ever goes away, regardless of what technology does to all of our industries, uh, you know, regardless of how things change in, in our world or supply chain, uh, there's still gonna be that, that need for that personal relationship and our care for our customer success. Uh, the great thing about Thurston County, the Olympia area, and our community here is uh, the overall focus on community, not just from Harbor Foods, but from all of the businesses here. And I've had the opportunity to know Jim Green for a long time and, and be acquainted uh, with Green Realty for a number of years. And I see Green as another like-minded business uh, that not only came from the Harbor area like us, but also uh, puts a huge priority on giving back in the local community. Uh, we always like to partner with those in our community that are giving back locally and uh, we believe local it makes a big difference. And the small businesses, entrepreneurs out there that, that we support and other community members support are really the lifeblood of our community.